So I'm gonna tell you how you can use RoboShadow completely for free to give you, yourself, or your organization an internal and external penetration test, or at least 90% of that functionality that happens in a penetration test completely for free, and some of these tests can be in between 20 uh, or 30,000 pounds. Your average penetration test is usually about 15,000 pounds. So what I'm gonna take you through now is some of the constituent parts of that. So first of all, I'll start with the external scanner. So all you need to do is plug in your IP addresses of your offices, data center locations or cloud environments into here you can even put your websites in and it will scan the OWASP top 10 which is a web scanning utility you put all of your IP addresses in and then you just go ahead and schedule a scan and once that's completed sometimes it can take overnight that will just be emailed into your inbox a lovely little external vulnerability scan then the other thing you need to do is download your agents and roll those out. At the moment it's just Windows for Windows servers and Windows machines, but we will be very soon doing Linux, Mac, and Google Chromebooks as well. So get all of the agents rolled out, which I'll come back to in a second. And the other thing that you need to do is click here and, and put in your details for your Azure AD sync, or you can use the on-premise Azure Active Directory connector here, which will reconcile with um, uh, um, uh, on-premise Windows AD. But what we want to be able to do is we need to prove primary user store sync in a internal penetration test. So what we mean by that is you need to reconcile with machines that have access to your data to for you to be able to prove that you are tracking them from a cybersecurity perspective in the sense of vulnerabilities, Windows updates, uh, and malware being enabled and things like that effectively. So what we need to be able to see is what machines have logged on to my data in X amount of days that don't are not being tracked from a cybersecurity perspective. And this is a common failure in internal penetration tests is the inability to reconcile with a primary user store. So once you've got your synchronization set up then you can demonstrate that you have a reconciliation with your primary user store uh, make sure that all of your agents are delivered by whatever agent delivery mechanism that you use once that's all done you will have a lovely dashboard here which allows you to understand the vulnerabilities across the whole estate and their drill downs here for um, uh, top five vulnerable devices apps etc um, then there's the section for Windows Defender Compliance or AV Compliance in general. We track the third party AV as well, which is very important. Or a lot of our environments are a combination of all. What we need to be able to do is confirm that is it updated or, uh, uh, and is it enabled and that most of the good Windows uh, or antivirus made for Windows do report back to the Windows subsystem and that's where we take the information from. Windows updates is an obvious one now, but still needed for an internal penetration test unencrypted laptops is a big failure on uh, internal penetration tests you can argue that um, encrypted unencrypted servers and workstations if they're behind locked offices aren't so much of a risk but we do definitely need to make sure that our laptops have um, some form, form of encryption namely BitLocker these days and here you can see the agentless machines here are the machines in the last seven days this will report machines that have been seen X amount of days so we have last seven days selected these are the machines that have logged on to active directory that don't have an agent installed and they're the areas that you need to concentrate on making sure that you get those agents updated so that's a fairly whistle stop tour of how you can use robo shadow to give yourself an external surface attack scan but also an internal device based zero trust scan and also reconcile that with your primary user store so thank you for watching